back to my channel so I feel like it's been ages since I've done like a full on Indian glam look. This look of course would be perfect if you were going clubbing and you didn't want to wear the Indian jewellery then this is going to be great for you or any Indian occasion full glam is basically always required. There is never a point with an Indian function where you turn up and you're too overdressed unless it's the Gurdwara or the Mandu like you're going for a religious even then people turn up to the Gurdwara like done up and why not <laughs> but yeah if it is an occasion or an event there is actually no such thing as too much or too glam go full shebang I'm not gonna blabber on too much now I'm just gonna quickly mention this whole look was inspired by this beautiful jewelry which was actually lent to me by the jewelry trunk I'll leave their Instagram page down below as you can tell they're amazing so yeah I'll leave you now to watch the tutorial okay so we're gonna get started with the eyes because the eyes are gonna be intense so I'm gonna really quickly prime the eyes with my Huda Beauty concealer and that is because I really really love this concealer not only as a base for my eyeshadows because it's super full coverage but I just love the consistency of it it's just such a lovely concealer in fact I have a whole video on my favorite concealers especially for like warm skin brown skin all of that I'm actually really quickly gonna take some of this just under my eyes as well to kind of just cover up a bit of the dark circles right now purely because I find my dark circles to be really distracting especially when it's like an intense eye look and all I can see is dark circles you can't really see how nice the eye makeup is and you feel like you need to keep adding more and more and more to kind of balance out with how dark the bottom is. So I'm gonna start by taking the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just gonna start by working Burnt Orange, which is this shade right here. I'm just gonna start on the outer corner. And I really wanna kinda just blow this first Burnt Orange shade out, which is why I'm using a big fluffy brush, because that is what is gonna buff this shade out. And because it's the transition color, it doesn't really matter how high up this shade goes. And then I'm gonna go into Sienna from the same Soft Glam palette, which is this one right here. This is just gonna go on the outer corner as well. And we're just building up the shades right now. And this is also kind of like another transitional shade, but just slightly deeper. And I'm actually not taking too much of it at all because I don't want the browns to get like too dark and too deep. And then I think I want to deepen it up slightly further with a bit more of a burgundy tone. So I'm going to go into the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and take this shade right here, which is called Saffron. And this time I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush. This is a MAC 221, so it's a bit more precise. And I'm just going to, again, work this on the outer corner and then through the crease. But this shade isn't going to be as blown out anymore. We want a bit more definition with it. So that is why I'm using a smaller brush and being careful with how high this shade actually goes up. And I just like to blend it by taking it in really small circular motions. So the brush is really wedged into the crease like this. So you can see like that. And then that is when I'll take it in small circular motions. That way I'm still getting precision, but I'm also getting a blend. Don't worry, it might look crazy right now, but I mean, the process is always crazy. So next is the fun part. And I really, really love using liquid eyeshadows or like crayon shadows, something like that, because I just feel like they are so quick and easy to use. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty um, Melted Shadows and I'm gonna use the two metallic sides. So I'm gonna take Bamboo Hoops and Shimmering Sunset, which is more of the golden one and the bronzy one. So I'm gonna take the more bronzy one first, which is Shimmering Sunset. So I'm just gonna apply this in the center of the eye area, just by brushing this on in small strokes. And then I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty little applicator sponge thing. You can use any, just to kind of smudge and blend this out. And I'm kind of just patting and blending, just cause I want it to be more of like a fine glitter rather than really, really chunky. And you can even use your finger. And then I'm just going to quickly just go back in with saffron on the outer corner so that there's a blend. I don't want it to be like really blocky. It shouldn't have actually even come out this far. I think I used way too much product when I put it on anyway. And then I'm going to use the lighter gold one more on the 
inner corner of the eye and then kind of just blend it into the center of the eye but this time i'm going to use way less and then i'm going to go over that with a little bit more sparkle because i feel like it's required and i'm going in with the steeler kitten karma magnificent metals glitter liquid metal glitter thing you could have just used this on its own but i really wanted to wear the hooded ones but um yeah maybe you don't have to use all of them you could just go in with this i'm just going to take this right over the top especially on like the first third of the eye yes and this actually really blends out nicely into that kind of middle shade i'm gonna get on with applying some liner now and i'm gonna use my fenty beauty fly liner i love this i might use it with the nyx epic ink liner the tip of this i thought was just a teeny touch better for like certain areas when doing a wing liner i mean that's extra so if you see me go between two liners that is why i always like to start in the center of the eye and then create the line all the way across my lash line and then create the wing and kind of just join everything all up okay liner is on and done and i decided to just bring it in a little bit on the inner corners just to kind of elongate the eyes even further and give it that really nice cat eye effect but i actually forgot i wanted to add more like brown shadow just like here so i'm really really quickly going to do that actually i'm just going to mix a bit of cypress umber and noir i'm actually going to take it on a pencil brush just because i've already applied liner so i need it to be a bit precise and also this black eyeshadow is so black so i'm taking a bit more of the brown so i've just placed it on the outer corner and then i'm just going to blend it out a little bit so it almost makes that liner look a little bit smoky just on the outer corner so i'm gonna go in with my mark jacobs um this is just a black cold pencil and i love this because it's a twisty one and i'm just gonna apply this to my top and bottom waterline so i'm gonna tight line with this and then i'm gonna take some of this on the outer part just on the edges of my eye as well like so and it doesn't matter if it's messy and then just use my pencil bl blush brush to blend and smudge this out I kind of make sure it's like joint and if it's a little bit messy at this stage it's totally cool because we're gonna apply concealer under here anyway and clean up and I'm kind of just making sure that this bottom liner joins up to the top liner can you see how it's all connected okay so for primer I'm gonna use the hangover primer by Too Faced and I've not used this in ages I'm just gonna rub this all into my skin and it feels super refreshing oh it smells so nice as well it smells like a holiday then i'm gonna go in with none other than my kevin aquan central skin enhancer and because i have done this step like a million times i am gonna skip through this bit i'll just apply it and i'll be back okay now we can move on to foundation i actually really quickly just did that um kevin aquan and then i was like so hungry i had to go and eat some lunch and my mum had made um from yesterday's dinner she'd made rice and sambar if you don't know what sambar is it's like a type of dal and oh it was so magical it was so good before i continue about the food let's get some foundation on i'm going to use the nars natural radiant longwear foundation one of my most favorite foundations ever i love this and i'm just going to stipple this foundation into my skin like so just because i get maximum coverage by applying it this way this foundation is honestly a goals it gives you radiance in like the nicest way not in like an oily way and the shade is just so perfect now that my foundation is on and i'm not gonna lie it looks flawless i love it i'm gonna go in with some cream contour and i'm gonna go in with the iconic london pigment stick in the shade 4.1 Oh, I thought I had a different shade, but 4.1 is cute. So I'm just going to apply this in the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm also just going to take it on my temples and maybe a teeny, teeny touch down the sides of my nose, but not too much. I'm just going to blend this out in small circular motions. And this blends out so easily within seconds. And I always like to blend it back into my hairline when it's on my temples. So then I'm going to go in with some concealer now. And I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Concealer. It's a 24 hour smooth wear concealer so i'm just going to apply this in all of the usual places that i like to highlight so underneath my eyes down the bridge of my nose in the center of my forehead cupid's bow and on my chin also and then i'm just going to go ahead and blend that all out by stippling again and I always stipple because I don't want to rub and move all the product around. And I also don't want to move the foundation that we've just done. 
and also you'll get the most coverage this way. I am gonna bake, but I just wanna quickly set this in place a little bit with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. So I'm just gonna pat this over the top of where we've just applied that concealer because it's just gonna smooth out the area. It's literally just going over all of the areas where we just highlighted. But then just over that, I am gonna bake. And the reason I'm doing both, you can leave it here if you want to, but the reason I'm doing both is because when you set it quickly with a bit of powder like that, it will stop the baking powder from sticking to the concealer. And this is quite a wet concealer. So that's why this method would work better with this concealer. So now that it's kind of set with powder, now I can go in with a heavier bake. Now I can push this powder on without it sticking to the concealer. You don't always have to do it this way. It kind of just depends on the type of concealer or products you're using. But this is also a really, really good way of making sure it's super long lasting. So I'm just gonna take this down my nose as well, on my head and just around my mouth. And then while I'm here, you know, looking cute i'm gonna take this right underneath my contour it's a good look guys it's a really good look so while this is all baking i am going to go in with some bronzer and i'm gonna use my mac mineralized skin finish in give me sun this product is so rinsed i use this all the time i love this so much you don't understand or maybe you do <laughs> i am just gonna take this right over the areas that haven't been baked so those are all of the areas that i contoured so all of these nice gaps here and this just allows the bake to kind of do its thing and then i'm gonna also just take this down the sides of my nose and once i've bronzed that's when i like to just go ahead and dust everything off because i don't want it to sit on my skin for that long so i'm gonna apply the kylie cosmetics salted caramel highlighter this is what it looks like and i'm just gonna apply this on the tops of my cheekbones and i like to apply this highlighter in layers so i'm gonna go in with a few light layers and just build this up oh girl and this highlighter is popping oh my god i just love it and then i think i'm gonna use my jouer highlighter this is in the shade skinny dip and i'm gonna take this around my face just because the tone is slightly different and i prefer it for around my face rather than the kylie one because the kylie one's like a really really light gold whereas this has got like a bit more warmth to it so it works better around the face and then i'll just use a fan brush to kind of just take it on the top of my brows and just in the center of my forehead on my chin and on my cupid's bow i am obsessed with this makeup guys i can't even tell you you don't even know so then i'm gonna apply blusher and i'm gonna take my mac warm soul blush which i've not used in ages do you remember there was a time that i was rinsing the shit out of this blusher like i used it in nearly every video but it's been ages this is a really lovely glowy blusher i was gonna say brusher blusher it's actually really hard to say so it's gonna complement this look perfectly and i kind of want to concentrate it on the apples of the cheeks and then kind of brush it back and it's just gonna make it look a lot more youthful now that the face is done i'm going to really quickly move back onto the eyes i'm just going to take a bit of the black eyeshadow that we used before on the top of the eye just along the bottom right here just to kind of set the the coal liner that we did here and it will as you can see make it so much darker and more defined and then i'm going to go into a bit of rustic sienna and burnt orange kind of like all three of these just like a little dip in each of those shadows and just run it right along the bottom of that just so that it's not like super harsh black shadow it's kind of got something to blend out into and then just take any mascara that you've got to hand i've just got the mark jacobs this is the film noir or oh, velvet noir mascara any mascara will do and you're just going to apply a couple of coats of this onto top and bottom lashes and then i am going to apply some falsies guys because with all of this drama on the eyes it just wouldn't be complete without some falsies so i've got these tatty lashes in the style tl6 finally for the lips i'm going to line my lips with cork lip liner by mac first of all i'm just going to go around the edges with this and then for lipstick i'm going to go in with the fenty beauty unbutton liquid lipstick which is such a beautiful nude color but yeah i'm just gonna quickly go and do my hair and then i'll be right back i'm just gonna do it in like a messy low bun i think 
Okay guys, this is a finished look, but I just really quickly want to add some clear gloss. This is just by Too Faced. It's just any clear gloss, a really, really tiny amount. Okay, so now that gloss is on, this is the finished look. I just want to say a huge thank you once again to the Jewelry Trunk for lending me this amazing set. Just look how unreal this is. Oh, and these lovely faux flowers in the hair are by Blooms by Vanita, who I always love using for my hair pieces. I am going to link both of their Instagram pages down below in the description box for you but make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this look this video if you want me to do more Bollywood glam looks or Indian looks in general leave any of your suggestions down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button of course so you don't miss out on any future uploads and get me on the gram because I do loads of other stuff on there too so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all in my next video Mwah. bye